Good evening. I'm calling the March 14th meeting of the Peru Planning Commission to order. Roll call, please. Sandy Faust. Here. Phyllis Torrance. Here. Rick Day. Here. Carrie Young. Here. Vincent Edmonds is not here. Joseph Molinax. Here. Bo Gorto. Here. Scott Wilson. Here. James Comerford. Here. Okay, the next item on the agenda is reading and approving the previous month's minutes. I make a motion we dispense of the previous month and accept them as written. I second that. Old business, there's none. New business, um, Peru Utilities Alley closing in Oakdale between Tyler Avenue and Harrison Avenue. Okay. I make a motion. We bring the uh, Peru Utilities Alley closing in Oakdale between Tyler and who is? We have Mr. Pandy Mr. here Andy? from Peru Utilities. I'm uh, Joe Pandy, the general manager of Peru Utilities, and the alley, and it's bounded by Harrison Avenue on the south and Tyler Avenue on the north. In that uh, block area, uh, Peru Utilities owns lots 72 through 78, with the exception of number 77. I think you have a uh, survey in front of you that shows all the crosshatch areas are lots that are owned by Peru Utilities. And uh, so we own lot 72 through 78 on the, uh, be the south side of Tyler. And we own lots 124 through 130 on the north side of Harrison, except for lot number 125. So if you take those lots, there are uh, 14 lots in that area I described. We own 12 of the 14 um, in that Lot, that alleyway has not been used for many years. I don't know for how long, but it's very overgrown. It's not passable by a vehicle. It's got uh, weeds and trees, and uh, people who live in that area have dumped things there, and there are other things stored on that alleyway. So we would propose to uh, vacate it, and our crews would clean it up in some fashion as time permits or we may hire somebody to clean it up. We have recently on the north side of Tyler Avenue, those lots have been leased for five years to ACES Plus for a community garden. Great. Mr. Edmonds from your board is involved in that. Mm -hmm. He's, he signed the lease, so they will turn that into a community garden uh, this spring, I believe. A completely organic community garden, no pesticides and such, yeah. just so you know. <coughs> I'd be happy to try to answer any questions you might have. Is there any discussion? Any questions? Well, after living out in that, around that area for 40 years, I think that's wonderful. I didn't even know there was an alley there. It's so full. I didn't know, and I, I kind of suggested to I get the minutes of the electric you know, utility board. And, uh, over where those two gardens are now, and it's in that corner thing, I said, if that was cleared off when they get in there and cleaned up, that would really be an asset to clean that area up too. With the equipment, I don't think it'd take too much to do that. We'll certainly look at that and try to address it. Yeah. Have the uh, owners of Lot 78 and 125 been notified? Yes, by me. And they're. Okay. Se 77, I believe. 77 yeah. crosshatch. I think it's 70, 77 and 124. I, I'm totally going off of memory from writing those well, letters. Well, there's two that aren't in crosshatches. Okay. There's 77. It's 78, yeah. you were correct. 78 and 125 are the two that okay. we don't own. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, they, they were they, notified, and um, nobody responded. I don't think there's anyone here. Nope. Are there any questions on the board? Any questions in the audience? 
<laughs> I make a motion we take it to vote. I second that motion. Mr. Wilson might want to recuse himself as he's an employee of Prairie Utilities. But. Oh, now there's enough people here, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be unanimous, yes. <laughs> I was thinking about it, but I don't. Just, I the, way no you, the way you deal with a conflict is you disclose it, and I just did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't we no. do that any? No, just kidding. <laughs> you might step down into the gallery. It's too late. She didn't ask. <laughs> I already put it to vote. <laughs> Sandy Faust? Yes. Phyllis Torrance? Yes. Rick Begg? Yes. Carrie Young? Yes. Joseph Molinex? Yes. Same. Bill Gorto? Yes. I recuse. Scott Wilson? Yes. James Comerford? Yes. Say yes. Thank you all very much. Thank okay. you. <coughs> Next on the agenda is um, North Miami Industrial Park approving of street name American Parkway. Jim Tidd is here to speak on behalf of that. And, yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the opportunity to come before you tonight. Um, as you probably read in the paper, um, we were very uh, successful with uh, attracting uh, a new business uh, to the community, uh, that being OP Nutrition, uh, which is a subsidiary of uh, Indiana Packers, it has bought uh, 45 acres, the balance of the property out in the North Miami Industrial Park uh, that was still under the ownership of the Miami County Economic Development Authority or the uh, Miami County Redevelopment Commission. Uh, their plan is to build uh, a feed mill uh, investment of about $24 million, uh, employing uh, 14 people directly, and then 20 people uh, by contract drivers uh, hauling grain back and forth. And again, this is taking in corn and soybean, mixing it with nutrition, uh, and then a feed mill, then processing it, and sending it, sending it out to their contract uh, feed operations. Um, by the way, a pretty substantial user in electric, and probably. And I don't know about water or those. Why do you look at me? I don't know. It, it just, I was my, no point was of being attracted over to that side. Go, go left, right? Yeah, go yeah. left. I don't have to refuse um, myself. But anyway, one of the, um, one of the stipulations uh, was that that road needed to be, for all this time, uh, that road has been uh, under the ownership of the Economic Development Authority or the Redevelopment Commission. It never was, uh, even when that park was initially set up, it was never uh, transferred uh, to the county as a county roadway. Uh, so we took uh, that action to do that. The county accepted that road, um, and it is now a public access road, and that was a requirement of OP nutrition. That's the first part. The second part is, what do we call it? Uh, the road, it's always been just the access road off of um, Mexico Road into the North Miami Industrial Park. It's never really had a name. Uh, so uh, basically what we are here, and because it's within the two-mile jurisdiction uh, of the city, uh, we're asking you to consider the name of American Parkway. And the way we came up with that name is recognizing American Stationery. Uh, that was actually the first business that was out in that industrial park. Uh, so that's how we came up with that name. And to make sure it wasn't going to conflict with any other naming of any other street or anything else in the community, and it seemed to, to fit very well. So that's what we're here tonight. Uh, you have a draft resolution before you, um, which uh, lays out that. and resolves that uh, you would approve the name of American Parkway, and then the protocol would be to take that before the Board of Commissioners for uh, final approval. So we're here to ask your favorable consideration in approving that resolution. We didn't actually have, and Stephanie, I apologize, I didn't check with you to see what the next resolution number was that we needed. So. You know, if we need to just put the date in for that, or 
I don't know what you normally do with resolutions, whether there's a, a sequential number or do you just use the date uh, today? I'm not sure, Bill. <laughs> In the past, it's been sequential numbers. Okay. So we start with one. I don't think we've had any this year. Resolution. I don't think so. Not, that I'm aware. not here. Okay. So this would be resolution one, 2017. Then, if that. If there haven't been any others in different areas, we haven't done any. No. So. Okay. Well, this would be specific yes. to the planning commission. Okay. So. so resolution one, and then on everything I've ever seen, there's the date next to it. Okay. So. What date would we have on there? 3-14-2017. After it. Mm -hmm. so I can fill that in if you'd like. Okay. So, um, I guess it would be resolution one. Mm -hmm. And then the date after it, which is 3-14-2017. Okay. The city council just uses the year to be resolution one, 2017. 2017. Yeah. So. There you go. Seems okay. kind of arbitrary right now for... <clears throat> All intents and purposes for our board, though, isn't it? Sorry. Okay. No, that's fine. Okay, fine. Just seems irrelevant for what we're trying to do. Okay. Another okay. question? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, are you planning on taking this to the commission at the next meeting, or is uh, Steffi taking that today? I hadn't talked with her about that. Okay. If she'd like me to, I can present it okay. uh, to the commissioners. Uh, right. But and she's more welcome the, to do the that. The next question is after they approve it. They won't have to give it to the zoning in the county to address it, and then it goes to the 911 people in the post right. office. And yeah, we it. actually had to get a temporary address because they needed a temporary address off of Mexico Road <coughs> um, just for the sake of being able to apply for permits yeah. and those kind of things. So we had to actually do an address off of uh, Mexico Road, but Tammy. Gamble did that temporarily until oh, we got okay. a name to it, and then she'll go back and, and give it a mailing address off of American Parkway. And just so you'll know, that will also drive um, the other two businesses out there to change their address as well, because uh, American Stationery uses Mexico Road, but they front now American Parkway if you so choose, and that would be the same with Logan Stamping. So they'll have to change their mailing address to be off of American Parkway, if that's what you approve. I make a motion we name it Wilson Parkway. <laughs> and then approve that. I deny that. No, nobody <laughs> second that. It was not a second. I tried to sneak that in. I mean, uh, too, down, too far down on alphabetical. Man. Make a motion. I make a motion that we adopt resolution 1-2017. Well, I, I do have one quick. I'm, I'm still kind of curious. Is that really our jurisdiction? Yes. 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 It's within the two mile radius. Therefore, it comes to Planning Commission and City Council, then it goes. They're working on getting it put to as a county road. No, I understand, but... You mean jurisdictionally? Yeah, I mean, I thought it's we stopped two before mile. that spot. I thought, I thought our our actual reach was um, like Fairground Road. No, I actually reach at 300 North. 300 North, yeah. Okay. okay. It's two, yeah, it's two miles. Okay. Yep. That was my curiosity. Oh, I thought we stopped shorter than that. Sure. Years ago, that's thinking fun. back, uh, that was under uh, redevelopment, uh, and Don Bacorn, who at the time was the owner of American Stationery, right. was instrumental in getting that all started up around that area. Sure. That's been years ago. Yes. And, you know, the Bacorn family's been pretty active in helping for, you know, Ivy Tech and, right. and everything. But I, I think even, even Jim Price, the attorney, was in charge of a lot of that back right. then. I can't remember. It seemed like some college floor that Broom or something was going Stored out there for a while. Mm. I can't remember. What, remember. what college? I don't. I can't know. remember that. But it's been years ago. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'll second Joe's, Mr. Mullenix's uh, motion. Okay. Take it to vote. Do you want to roll call? Yes. Sandy Faust? Yes. Phyllis Torrance? Yes. Rick Dick? Yes. Yes. 
Terry Young? Yes. yes. Joseph Molinex? Yes. Bo Guanto? Yes. <coughs> Scott Wilson? Yes, but in protest of the name. <laughs> James Hammerford? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, you come up with a name? Well, I said Wilson Parkway, but they denied it. <laughs> no I didn't hear that motion for a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we played it. Okay. I'll remember that. Um, <laughs> the other thing, with your permission, uh, that I would uh, like to present to you is, and I'm sorry for the uh, short notice on this, but another resolution for your consideration. Um, and this has to do with uh, what was established back in 2013 as the West End TIF, or the allocation area that we set up in the West End of town uh, when um, Shopco, a retail company, was looking at going up there uh, about where Central Lighting is and where the mobile home court is. Uh, we initially set up a tax allocation area uh, for in uh, 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 kind of a uh, well, in uh, a TIF area, like yeah, a TIF area, but it was all based on this uh, company that was going to move in town that needed some assistance yeah. and those kind of things. So, but Shopco, of course, never they backed out at the last minute, but that TIF has been set up. So, there's another opportunity for development that I would at least like to discuss with you uh, tonight is concerning that allocation area. Uh, but that I think has to be Stephanie, if I understand has to be approved uh, to be able to present that to you tonight. It has to be recommended by a board member. I make a motion that we take that into consideration. A second. Perfect. That works. Okay. This, and is, I really that, appreciate this is that, that mobile home park. Kind of this is that mobile follow. home park area down there by the, yeah. on the west end? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I appreciate the support even though we didn't name that Wilson Parkway. <laughs> well, I'm going to deny it when it comes through. I just wanted to get you up here so I could badmouth you I know before you're I oh, took so it away. Wilson Economic Area. Yeah, we're, I'm <laughs> going for, yeah, this is, well, this is a swing number two. I noticed the new all buildings. Is this also that? That's for Casey. Jim. Yeah. Jim. Down. That's yeah. for Casey. Yeah. I, you, he asked about, is that that mobile it's home park? park. Yeah. It's, it's already in the TIF. Oh, oh, it's already in the TIF. I'm just saying that's all part of This is what would benefit the CSX property. No, but I'm saying okay. I was just trying to get my head around the, the area. Perfect. Yeah. That's it. all I was doing. Um, what this deals with is an expansion of the, uh, what we refer to as the pre West End Development Plan. Like I talked before, back in 2013, when we set this area up, uh, we presented a development plan for that West End area. And if you go uh, to this document, the plan itself, and if you go back to the first exhibit, there is um, a map uh, that shows what that, and it's almost about halfway through the document. It shows a map in yellow it would show the what was the um, initial area, and then what we're here to talk about tonight is the expanded area, which is the former CSX property that you see in red. Um, as you may already know, the Miami County Economic Development Authority, in partnership with the city, is looking at acquiring uh, that CSX property as a potential location for the new YMCA, uh, mm -hmm. as well as housing uh, with trails and parks and those kind of things. It encompasses about 41 acres. And what we're trying to do before um, we close on that particular property is actually in, it encompass it uh, and expand uh, the redevelopment area in the tax allocation area. So that's what we're here tonight uh, to talk with you about. Uh, this plan basically is very similar to the plan that was approved back in 2013. Uh, it looks at the different, what we call findings of fact. Uh, in other words, to set up an allocation area that has to be certain findings of fact that are spelled out in the statute. Um, as an example, 
Uh, the implementation of the plan will promote significant opportunities for the gainful, gainful employment of the citizens of the city of Peru. The plan for the expanded area cannot happen by regulatory process alone. It needs the assistance through the tax allocation area. Public health and welfare of the citizens of Peru um, would be benefited through the development of the plan. Um, let's see what else. It would attract or retain permanent jobs, increase property values, improve or enhance diversity of the economic base, um, and other public benefits. And that the plan, this redevelopment plan, is consistent with the city's overall plan for development, uh, which it is. It's consistent with the capital improvement plan that the city approved back when it was uh, applying for the stellar community. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's also consistent with the latest Miami County comprehensive plan, which included the city that was done in 2016. So this expansion to include the CSX property does meet all the statutory requirements. Uh, finding of fact. Um, the plan has been reviewed by our bond council, uh, Barnes and Thornburg, uh, Rich Starkey, um, to just concur with that, that it does meet all the statutory requirements. And we're asking you to consider now what would probably we need to change that uh, number, but resolution number 2 2017. That basically what you're saying here in this resolution, and again, this is the paper that was on the, the top, is that uh, the Planning Commission, and I'm down after all the whereas is, um, I'm down to where it is resolved by the Peru Planning Commission, that the commission hereby finds and determines that the declaratory resolution, which uh, to the back of your plan, there's a copy of the declaratory resolution that the Miami County Economic Development Authority approved at its public meeting uh, back um, on the 8th of March, that the resolution of the Economic Development Authority and revised plan conforms to the plan of development for the city, that the plan commission hereby approves the declaratory resolution and the revised plan, um, that the secretary of this planning commission is hereby directed to file a copy of the declaratory resolution and revised plan with the minutes of this meeting. So basically, we're here to ask you to approve the plan for the expansion of that allocation area and the development of that property. And uh, by doing that, approve uh, this resolution as we just uh, discussed. Mm -hmm. And I'd be happy to answer any questions that the planning commission may have. I think that I think that would be wonderful to get that all developed down there. Yes, ma'am. Um, spend like, it would kind of throw all of our parks system together yes, and everything. And with the Y was located, there's plenty of ground and and everything down there like that. I think it'd be a wonderful thing. I never thought in my lifetime I'd ever see anything done. Well, it was truly, we had yeah. a meeting with the Indiana Department yeah. of Environmental Management today just to go over some things as far as acquiring this property. And they even said, man, this is going to look, because we had kind of a layout of a plan of development for this area. And they said, boy, this is going to be nice development along the river. And, you know, I think it is. I think one, that's one of the things that maybe the city hasn't really taken advantage of over the years is that water attraction yeah. as the Wabash River. And, you know, those, uh, all those brick homes built down there would increase their value right. because they, they developed that really nice down there. One thing that I, I need to point out to you, with this tax allocation area, it, it remains as a real property TIF only. So the only thing that's captured in this tax allocation area or TIF is the increase in real property assessed of value. So personal property uh, that's part of this development or that happens in this TIF stays with the taxing units within uh, the community. So it doesn't affect personal property. So therefore, the schools benefit, the libraries benefit. This is just yeah. real property tax, the increase in real property yeah. tax dollars. But the look 
you're going to get pick up a look down there, tie everything together, right. and make it make it look real nice down through there. Well, and there's still a way to go, honestly, yeah. folks. Oh, with this, but this oh, is oh. this is one of the first steps we yeah. believe. You got the new funeral home down through there, and right. and everything. I think that's wonderful. What's the ideal time frame here? Like, I know this is the first step, but I mean. Like if, if it goes through here and then it goes through the next step and everybody approves everything. Yeah, the tip what actually you, we're we're hoping the next step from here for the revised development plan right. and the allocation area would be to present to the city council. No, I, under, I understand oh, that. Okay. I'm talking once it gets through everything. Oh, once it gets through everything, we are on a uh, 90 to 120 day time frame. Okay. Uh, with closing with CSX. Okay. Um, this is part of our due diligence. Right. Of course. To try to put the things in place that are going to be necessary for development. Uh huh. Um, so we're right now looking at closing without any further delays. Yeah. I'm Best case about scenario. Everything today, works perfect. Right. Yeah. We're about 90 days from closing. Okay. With CSX. And then what about actual development after that? And well, the actual building of a new depends, Y and all well, that. Well, that I can't speak for the Y because I'm not part of that capital. This is just the campaign. development of this the property is just to get it there. The community being able to acquire the property. Got it. So that then there can be. Um, transferred to the Y mm -hmm. or transferred to a housing developer, um, those kind of things. So when would you see ground being broke down there? Honestly, I can't answer right. that because I'm not sure where the Y is in there. Because it may not end up being the Y. This may just be it could, it the opening could be, up for development. I mean, the first thing may be, the first thing that you see is the connection of trails. Right. You know, that a part of this would probably wind up going to the parks board. Right. Uh, for, you know, the trails mm -hmm. or parks or, you know, just greenfield space. Um, I think that's kind of the vision is an area for housing along the river, YMCA, trail connection uh, from West City Park to, you know, We're, there where the riverside is. And But that's the vision. Right. So, but I mean, like, if this gets passed and goes through, this is just opening up a more development property. A private developer can come in and build anything he wants at that point. Right. If they have the money, they can. Right. And there are some of those people. I can't go into detail, but there are some people that are already being talked with right. about the housing. No, and I understand. I just wanted to make sure it was. Right. I wish I could give you a more definitive you answer, but I can't. I never dreamed there was that much acreage sale. Mm -hmm. If you, you know, what would you say, 41, 43 acres? 40, 41 no, I acres total. Yeah. I, I never dreamed there was that I think much. there are things in process, yeah. but. Well, it gets pretty, the Square. river kind of wide, or uh, bends, yeah. which yeah. makes it wider, yeah. I got it on the west end, than it is on the east end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just the way the river highway winds. I got about three questions. Okay. Uh, is CSX going to give you clean property lines? Uh, I know back in 2000, late 2002, 2003, they put sensors out there to check for contamination from the roundhouse and stuff. And then in 2004 or five, they hauled a lot of dirt out of there. Right. So uh, they're giving you a clean bill of health as far as item goes? Well, no. Um, what they've done is they've cleaned the property up to an industrial and commercial standard. Okay, that's what I mean. Okay, and so, yes, there is a, and that's what we're getting right now with IDEM is what's called a comfort letter. Okay. Uh, which means that the city, the Economic Development Authority, cannot be held liable for the contamination that exists on the property that we didn't cause. Okay. So now there is some additional remediation that has to take place to have other types of development, specific and residential. Uh, that will have to be addressed, but it is clean for commercial and industrial okay. standards as we speak right now. Next question, will you plan on uh, considering a PUD, plan unit development, that, that would con cut and consider residential and commercial together? That would have to be after we, uh, it is and it's, the, um, what's happening with this is that per our interlocal agreement with the, um, with the city, we're basically being the agent as the redevelopment commission to acquire the property, and then we'd be turning it over to the city 
30 days after we close with CSX. Oh, okay. So okay. I can't respond to. Okay. I can answer that, yeah. There you go. The answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, to me, that would be the best way to use the land, is right. a combined unit. Yes, that's the plan. Okay. Thank you. That was only two. That was only two questions. Oh, you had I was waiting one. for the third one. <laughs> <laughs> Always keep them guessing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are there any more we'll questions or discussion? No. I have no questions. I don't either. Oh. This is something that Gabe's Greer, Mayor Greer, has been working pretty hard on. For so he a while has more now. information? If you would like to go. Mr. Mayor, would you please? Oh, he's not here to <laughs> answer any of our questions. Yes. So I guess that's okay. Mr. But he's got ideas. There's a board of works meeting tomorrow. We can go ask him. Absolutely. Yeah, I got other things to do. <laughs> Slacker. <laughs> okay. Jim, help me out on the wording on this. Yeah, we would ask you to um, approve resolution dash two or resolution two dash twenty seventeen. No way. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. You got no, a question no, back there. No, oh, I'm, I'm buying you supper, so settle down. But a question. <laughs> There's a grave back there. A long that's what I've Probably heard. the west edge of the property. Is it on CSX's property or is it outside the fence? Is it down there? Because there's no <laughs> chain link fence that, that runs down through there. And it's been there forever, and, and but it is a, a, a grave site. Right. And if it is a grave site that's on it, it'll have to be protected or, you okay. know, those kind of things. So it's not... Uh, I mean, I've, I've, heard, I've heard that there is. I haven't been physically back there to see it. You have it. Just sorry. There's, just, a landmark, man. <laughs> there's just one stone. No, it's a monument. Yeah. I never saw that. I just saw a stone. Whose is it? An unknown got it. Uh, no, no, yeah, oh, you know, guys, it goes about what? Late 1800s? Yeah. Mid 1800s? A fellow was drowned crossing the river and they buried. I know there's. So it's a tomb of the unknown Peruvian. <laughs> No, he well, wasn't proving at, at the time a bit of Miami's accordion person. Oh, okay. There I is a, that was just a question. No. Know, I mean, you know, it's, I don't even know whether it's inside the fence or not. I don't, I don't either. In the city, um, mayor's office has engaged a company called United Consulting that is working on this kind of layout and the planned unit development that you're talking about. So <laughs> if there is, that will have to be addressed somehow in the, in the plan. So. It's on the walkway somewhere. I don't think it's even in the west part of that. I think it's on the east side of it. Okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right. So, again, back to the language would be uh, to uh, approve uh, Resolution 2-2017, which is a resolution of the approved Planning Commission approving a declaratory resolution and the revised economic development plan adopted by the Miami County Economic Development. I so move. <laughs> I'm going to repeat that. I'll make a motion. We do what Jim said. Motion That's the easiest way. I'm not going to read all of that again. Motion to take it to vote by Bill. Second. Joe seconded it already. Joe. Roll call. Sandy Faust? Yes. Phyllis Torrance? Yes. Red. Rick Day? Yes. Carrie Young? Joseph Molinax? Yes. Bill Guarto? Yes. Scott Wilson? Can we name it Wilson? <laughs> no. What? Wilson Acres? <laughs> then I say, well, I'll say yes. You keep delaying this and make grave down James Comerford? <laughs> yes. Then you won't be able to do anything down there. <laughs> yes. We need original for there. There's already stuff in the plans, in the works. Uh, thank you, and um, yeah, I'm sure this is not all that you're going to hear about this development, so okay. um, it is exciting, um, and so I'm, I'm sure there will be other opportunities to keep the Planning Commission involved and informed, so thanks again for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.
Carries technically. Yeah, I. Yeah. See that little thing there. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to save the city some money and get them back to her. Okay. Told you you should have sat up here. I mean, you got figured out why nobody is sitting beside you yet. <laughs> My job is complete. <laughs> We don't have any public comments, that would be it. Any public comments? Keep your mouth shut. Um, I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Okay, 37.